show them the paper cross there. Do you see that? Can you all that? Look, hello everyone. Pete, do you see the boys and girls? Give them a little wave. Oh yes, he's giving them a wave. Now I'm Susan and this is Pete. And today we are going to be doing a craft and doing a story or really talking about the very first Palm Sunday. Isn't that right, Pete? Yes. And that's why Pete loves to wave the palm branch. Can you put that down for a minute? Is that all right? Okay. And for our craft today, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you. I'm gonna teach you how to fold a paper cross. So let's go ahead and have a look at what happened on the very first Palm Sunday. Now, help me bring the book across, Pete. Come on, there we go. He's such a good helper. There we go. Now this book you can make as well, and I'll show you how to do that at the end. Now, Pete, are we about ready to start? Okay. The first Palm Sunday. Jesus and his disciples were traveling to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. He was planning to enter the city in a very special way. Instead of walking in like most people, Jesus was going to ride in on a donkey. So Jesus gave instructions to two of his disciples. Go into the village and you will find a donkey that no one has ever ridden. The donkey will have her colt right beside her. Untie them and bring them to me. One of the disciples was bothered by this. But what if one of the owners asks us what we're doing? Jesus replied, Just tell him that the Lord needs them. Quickly the disciples went into the village, and sure enough, there was a donkey with its colt right beside it. The disciples started to untie the donkey when suddenly the owner appeared. Hey, what do you think you're doing? The Lord needs it, explained the disciples. Oh, that's all right then, said the owner. So off they went down the street to take them to Jesus. Did you know that there's a special prophecy about donkeys? It was no accident that Jesus was going to ride a donkey into Jerusalem that day. You see, a long, long time before Jesus was born, a prophet of the Lord, whose name was Zechariah, said that one day the king of Israel would ride into Jerusalem on a donkey. As Jesus rode towards Jerusalem, many people started gathering to welcome him. Some people wondered who he was, but others already knew. Many people cut branches off palm trees and waved them about. Others put palm branches and their coats on the road to make a carpet for his path. And the people clapped their hands and shouted, Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! But not everyone was happy about what Jesus was doing. Some of the religious leaders started to grumble. Teacher, they said, command your disciples to be quiet. Jesus replied, if they were to be quiet, the stones themselves would begin shouting. So Jesus rode through the streets of Jerusalem in a triumphal entry just as God said he would. This is what happened on the very first Palm Sunday. <laughs> Let's just move the other way. Yes, wasn't that good to be able to hear about the very first Palm Sunday? Yes, it was. Now, can you remember what the people were saying when they were waving the palm branches. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you guys remember? Do you remember? 
Yes, that's right, you got it, Pete. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Yes, well done, Pete. I bet you knew that too. Well, now we're going to get ready to make our special paper cross. Today I'm going to show you how to make a paper cross for Palm Sunday. I have five different patterns that you can download from my website or you can use some paper you have at home. I like to cut out the strips and taper the ends. Okay, let's get started. Take your strip of paper and find the middle part and there'll be little dots in the middle. So take the top part and you're going to fold it down and then out to the side just above those little dots and fold it to make a right angle like that. Now take the bottom part and fold it up over the top of that little triangle like that. It's pointing up now. Now take the top part again and fold it back around. You're making the little square of the inside of your cross. Now take the left side and pull it behind the square and press it. And it looks like that. Now take the right side and if you turn it a little bit and look in there, there's a little pocket and you're going to slip a piece of paper into that pocket in the square and push it all the way through till it locks into place. And that's what it should look like. Now this time, take this side, fold it in front and put it back through the square but not all the way this time. Just part of the way, you're making the arms of the cross. So you've got one side of the cross, then take this side and fold it back and just stick it in that little pocket back there. And even up the arms of your cross. Now take the bottom part, fold it back, and there's a pocket behind. Slip it through, slip it through, all the way through. Not all the way, actually. And then flip it over. And there you have the paper cross. If you have real palm leaves, check out my palm leaf folding tutorial. Oh. Oh, what do you got there, Pete? Oh, oh, I just want to see everybody's cross. How did you guys go with your cross? Were you successful? Yeah? Well, if you'd like to show me and Pete, he would like to see them, wouldn't you? <laughs> I've got a Facebook page and I'll have a post there and in the comments, you can put a picture of your cross there so we can see it. We would love to see that, wouldn't we? Yes, we would. So ask your parents if you can do that. I'd love to see your your crosses. The other thing, um, Pete's playing with, did you want me to show everyone that? Yes, he's playing with a special stone. Yes, it's my very special stone. Look here, let me just show it to you. Now, when we were reading about the first Palm Sunday, a stone got mentioned there. Do you remember who mentioned it? Yes, it was Jesus. Remember those religious rulers were upset and told Jesus to tell everybody to be quiet? And what did Jesus say, do you remember? He said if they were to keep quiet, the stones would start shouting. And you know what? I was on the Mount of Olives a few years ago, exactly where the first Palm Sunday took place. And we were walking down Mount of Olives and then up to the city of Jerusalem. And while we're walking down, I saw this stone on the ground and I picked it up. Yes, I picked it up 
And I thought, I'm going to bring this home to remind me that the stones would start crying out about Jesus, our Savior. That was really cool. Now, Pete didn't go with me that time, but it was really special. And this is my special stone. Anyway, I did want to point out to you guys as well that if you wanted to make this book, in the description, I'll show you where you can get these pictures for free and you can make your own book. Well, kids, thank you so much for joining me and Pete for our special story and craft time. That's what this is. This is story and craft with Susan. And Pete's my special helper today. And I might have different helpers from time to time. And I hope you'll join us next time. Okay? Bye.